What's going on, YouTube? You already know who it is. It's CJ, your home improvement homeboy, back with another one. You guys requested this one specifically. You said you wanted to learn how to install an outlet over another outlet so you don't gotta look at those ugly wires hanging from behind your TV. So guess what I'm gonna teach you today? Exactly how to do just that. Stay tuned, let's get it. All right, hey, down here. Oh, um, yeah, oh, oh, okay, yeah. What's up, guys? All right, first off, I'm gonna start by showing you guys some of the tools. Oh, let's get that camera right, there we go. Some of the tools that you will need to do this. First off, you are going to need a one gang box. Second, you will definitely need an outlet tester. You don't really need this, but I find that it's very useful to make sure that you don't cut too big of a hole for your one gang box. This is just a template. So you are going to need some 12-2 electrical wiring and something to run that wire through the wall with. This is steel fish tape. All right, you will definitely need your outlet cover. And last but not least, your outlet. All right, that's everything we need. Let's get started. So guys, I want to introduce my little handyman helper today, Gabriel. Say what's up to YouTube, Gabe. What's up? He's so cool. All right, so first things first, uh, we are going to mark out where we're going to put our outlet, our new outlet. So Gabe, can you hand me the orange outlet template right there? Nope, the other thing, the other orange one. There you go. Good job. And we need something to mark with. Um, we can just use that screwdriver. Hand me the screwdriver. Unless you see uh, Actually, I'm gonna use this marker. We got a marker, we'll use that. So, we know this is ran into a stud. I know that because I personally did it. So, we know it's a stud right here, and we also know that where this outlet is, wherever you see an outlet, it's usually nailed directly into that stud. So that means that this outlet was nailed into the stud this way. So that means we can cut our template right here and we should not hit the stud. So that's why I love this template because it gives you horizontal and vertical levels. So I'm gonna go here, line it up with the stud, with the TV mount plate. All right. So now we know where we're gonna cut. Let me zoom in and let you guys see that. Okay, you want some camera time? Show them what you're working with. Dance for YouTube. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh. Uh. <laughs> All right, back to work. Next order of business would be to turn the breaker off. Um, this is a really old house that I'm working in and everything is not properly labeled. So in that scenario, we're just gonna hit the main breaker and cut it all off. Better safe than sorry. All right, so we're back in the room. Um, one tool I did forget to mention, and that is a drywall saw. You will need a drywall saw or a box cutter if you prefer. Me, I'll take the saw. <laughs> so we just take it and I'm gonna puncture straight through. And cut straight along that line. I'm gonna bring you guys a little closer. And you're gonna do the same thing on all four sides. Pump, poke through with your hole first, poke a little hole. Worst case scenario, this wall is full of insulation. Headache. 
Best case scenario, no insulation. This goes really smoothly. Ladies and gentlemen, you get the best case scenario. All right. All right, so now we'll go down to the outlet that we are tying into. So next I'll need a screwdriver, Gabe. All right, good job. So we're gonna take this outlet off. This outlet cover, excuse me. And this is why we cut the power off, just in case you slip or hit the wrong thing. This could be a real bad day for you. Let's start by unloosening all the screws. It's only three screws you gotta take out to remove the outlet. And now once you have these removed, just gently move the outlet out of your way. So, unfortunately, this outlet already has two wires tying into it. So that makes it a little more difficult, but not impossible. All right, so now that we've gotten the outlet out, I just want to show you guys this. Um, on every one gang box, you have these little flexible pieces right here. This is where you run your wire in and out. You just snap those and run the wire wherever you plan to run it. So this one already has two wires running from the top. So I'm gonna to have to run that fish line through the bottom one up the wall into the hole that we just made. And with this being the gang box that we're putting up higher, we'll just poke one of these flexible areas out and that's where the wire will be received through. So let me show you in real life how that's done. All right, Gabe, let me hold a fish, fish line, that orange circle. All right, so this is where this tool comes in handy. So this might be a little tricky because of the fact that I'm having to go through the bottom. But for you, hopefully, if no um, other wires there, you won't have to go through the bottom. You'll be able to go through a top. As we push it up, we'll see it come through here. All right, so we got our wire out. Next, we're gonna take some, another tool I forgot to tell you, you will need electrical tape. My apologies, electrical tape. Oh, there we are. So we'll tie our 12-2. With the electrical tape. It looks like a spring. It does look like a spring. I want you to pull the wire back through. You want to hold this handle and twist it that way. And pull that wire right on through. Okay. But you not pull it out. We don't want it. Here. You want to pull it out for me? I'm going to make sure it does not get snagged from the top. Okay. You can just pull it out. Oh. Yep. And we do not want the whole wire to get stuck in, in the wall, so. It is that. Uh. Mm. YouTube can't see. Mm. Sometimes we gotta wiggle it and give it a little extra slap. Ah, right, there we go. Right, so we got it out. Good. Good, that's what we need. So give yourself enough wire, excess wire, so that when you cut it, you still have room to manipulate it the way you need to. 
So I would say anywhere from about six inches ought to be enough. All right, so we cut that end and we will cut this end. Wow, so, you did it! Yeah. We are going to wire the bottom first. With electrical wire, it's pretty simple. So first things first, we're gonna strip the jacket off. I got an outside blade on mine for that. Now that we got that jacket stripped off, we got black is the hot, white, brown is the neutral. So, yeah, so we wanna strip just a little bit off of there. It has the hole right there for you to bend the wire with, to bend it into a loop. So, so we're gonna bend the ground into a loop. Because this ground is gonna go around this other ground. So we wanna tie these two grounds together first. And once you get it close, you just wanna pinch it around and then tighten it. And now we'll take that white wire and insert it into the back. White wire is in. Last one is the black wire. If it can pull out, it's not all the way in. There we go, that's in there. Check our white, won't come out. Black, won't come out. Ground, won't come out. So now we take and push this back into place. So the best thing about working with electrical outlets is everything is color coded. And for everybody that's afraid of getting shocked, you don't have to worry about that as long as you remember that crucial step of cutting the power off. Never work with electricity without cutting the power off or cutting the breaker off to that specific area. As long as you do that, you'll be perfectly fine. It's not too many ways you can mess it up. So now we're going to do the same thing at the top. We are going to strip the jacket off. Gabe, can you hand me the one gang box? It's the gray box on the floor. No, the gray box down there. Right there. In the meantime, I'll go ahead and strip these off. Thank you. And can you get me that outlet, the white and blue outlet over there? So this is what I was telling you guys about the bottom of these. You're gonna just take and compress the bottom in wherever you want your wire to come through. Oh wait, that's the top. So yeah, compress the bottom in, boom. Now that's the hole where our wire will come through. Thank you, Gary, you're a good assistant. And now we'll take and run that wire through the bottom of here and go ahead and set our box in place. So make sure that the wings are compressed because we don't want those coming out when we're sliding it in. Tight is good, you want it tight. Um, let me finish stripping the wires. Just in case you couldn't see at the bottom, this is what I was struggling sticking the wires into. It tells you the color, it says hot, and we know that hot is black and white. And then we got our green wire, which is our ground wire. So as always, with that ground wire, and we'll just wrap that around that green screw. Then we'll take this white, stick it in the white side. Make sure you read the label. Yeah. Stick the white in the white and the black in the hot. All right, there we go. Getting this black in, got it in there. So do your tug test, make sure they won't come out. Now we're gonna go ahead and button up this outlet. (laughs) 
good and even. You do gotta tighten these wings so that the box pulls flat on the other side of the drywall. Good, good. And now we put the outlet cover on. And there you have it. Outlet at the top, outlet at the bottom. Oh, Jesus. Power's back on. As you see, it is wired correctly. All right, let's test the bottom real quick. Hey, look at that. That is a good sign. All right, guys, I appreciate you tuning in. As always, hit that like, subscribe, and share this video with somebody you think it may be useful to. If you guys have any further questions, please put them in the comment section below or even any future content that you want to see. Let me know. I got you. I'm out.